Hi folks, long time no see. Um, what the fix is that? Alright, we're out, we're at uh, Cushion Door. Rods are up. Pretty little bit, this. What's the good for spinning? First time I've fished there. Nice mountains. It's a busy old place, mate. Plenty of, uh, thank you, Bill, Plenty of people walking around. Walking the dogs and walking the kids because kids need exercise too. Um, apparently. So, we're here on the beach like a madman talking to us off here. For what feels like the first time in ages, but I have been out. Excuse me, bad angle. I have been out. It's just uh, a few technical problems, so either the video didn't record or the sound was awful. Um, or the weather's been bad and simply haven't been out fishing. Um, but yeah, we're at Cushendale Beach. It looks weedy. Um, there's weed up the left hand side. Looks weedy in the water. The wind's blowing offshore. So whether that's keeping the weed away, I don't know. I'm not having any problems reeling in. Haven't caught anything. Just been changing baits. Been here about half hour, 45 minutes. Just doing nothing. Changing baits. Eat my lunch. Fencing up. Anyway, that's where I'm at. Cushion Door Beach. Um, three rods out. Two up flapper. An up and over. And a pulley rig. Sandy hill, squid strips, lugworm, ragworm, usual sort of stuff. Next time we do a bait change, we'll bring you in, show you, you see you can have a look at the rigs, see what we're doing with the baits. Hopefully we'll get a fish. Cheerio. Well, I'll bring you back, folks. Um, nothing happening. It's absolutely dead here. Now, it is that time of year when things are a bit tough anyway. Tension on the lines, but um, not even a nibble. There's only one of the bits come back with any sort of evidence of crabs on it. I just don't get it. Just don't get it. But it is a nice area. Um, we're about halfway up the flood tide. Um, about half past one in the afternoon. My size is about half eight, nine o'clock ish. But to be honest, we haven't to move. I don't know whether to go around the coast up to Custom Dunn, see if we can scrounge out some flatties, or hold out here and hope things turn. But so far, I'm um, struggling. Um, Trying different baits, we've got a bit raw prawn out, we've got squid out, we've got sand eel out, we've got ragworm out, lugworm out, um, and not a little bit of interest. <sighs> Don't like it's quarter past four. I might give it till five o'clock. Give it till five o'clock, I think. I haven't caught anything then. Maybe pack up. Maybe move on to cushion down. All right. We'll see you in a bit. Okay. And as if by magic, we have moved location. We are at Waterfoot Beach. Waterfoot Beach. Um, just got the rods out. I'm hoping we can winkle something out. Um, lovely views. Don't know if you can see the waterfalls on the, the hills there. Yeah. Nice beach, very quiet. Um, a little bit away from the, the main centre of the town, so hopefully it'll be alright. Um, yeah, Rods has just gone out. We'll see what happens. Hope um, you can try and rescue the day with a, a flatty or something. But um, well, it's fish you're not catching, isn't it? So at least we're out. Um, yeah, big flat, long open beach. Um, so. The wind, the wind, it's not too bad at the minute, but it's gusting quite heavily uh, and occasionally blowing the tripod over, which has snapped one of the little plastic flipping legs, so that's good. 
Um, it looks like the tide may push me pretty far up, but that's okay. I've got access in and out, easy enough. Um, first time at Waterfoot as well. First time at Christian Dole today. That wasn't great. Um, just the way the water's in the circle, like, I don't know whether there's just no scent going out or whether the fish avoid it because it sort of seems a bit dead. A lot of things hanging and not washing out or washing in. Um, there's salmonettes way over there for salmon farms, so whether that encourages fish or means that all the fish will be up there and sit down here, we don't know. People have said try Waterfoot Pier, which is off over in the distance there, probably you can see it. Um, seems pretty busy already, there's like two, three cars up there, um, and I've never tried it, but I would count it. smells of pee because you know, there's lots of men fishing the same place. Um, anyway, I'm hoping we can rescue the day with the fish. So it's not a complete blank and a complete waste of bait and time and money. This bait is getting expensive. And I bought three rigs while I was in the bait shop and they've completely disappeared. So they've either forgotten to put them on the bag or they've dropped out of the bag somewhere. Which is quite annoying because I've not got that many homemade rigs with me. Oh. Past couple of months has just been like one freaking headache after another. More time fishing. I want to get more time fishing and I've just not had the opportunity. And then when you do get out, something goes wrong, like the lights aren't good enough, the bought lights and aren't good enough, or there was technical issues with the sound, or camera batteries weren't charged, or... <sighs> yeah, I know. Anyway, hope you're well. Hopefully I'll come back to you with the fish. I am going to... Finish getting myself set up properly instead of rushing to get things out and only doing half a job because I think half the bait came off there when I cast it out, so I'll probably be bringing it in in five minutes. <sighs> Must try better. Alright, see you in a bit, folks. Right, I've got to make this quick because here comes the rain and I haven't got the cover on the camera yet, but um, it's not blank. It's not a blank. It's in here, if I can get him. He's a very tiny little fatty. He's got a couple of spots actually. Could be a little place. Where is he? 16 centimetres. So, oh, sorry buddy. Let's get him back in. And get the flapper rig rebated. There he goes. Lovely. Let's see if we can get him all of them. I'm going to um, get the cover on the camera. There's another little squall blown in. Let's see what we get. See you in a bit. Take two. Spoke too soon. This is to switch the camera off. That's how fish in it. Oh, well, there we are. Woohoo! Ah, I got something. Let's get another bucket quick. I should look even laughing at that. Hello, little buddy. Trying to do this so you can see, but apologies if I miss it. So I missed the jaws there, but. Let's 
Some bigger fighters would be nice. And I realised we've. I bought some. Uh, I'm sure I picked up a frozen black lug wrap. And that's not in my bag either. So that's three rigs. Frozen black lug wrap. That is not in. It's stuck in the boot shop. I'm hoping they've just got out their car. They've not accidentally uh, left them to one side. Right. On this one. Jesus. The wind didn't feel that strong, so we had a second big fish pull from it. Strong. The whole tripod just went over. I can't feel anything on the rods. Chairs went over, so maybe it was a wind, but that could have went over earlier when you had that big dust. <sighs> oh. Like a lot on the left hand road. Uh, it stopped as quickly as it came. Of course it did. There's not a small fight, maybe. Hopefully. Fish it on the feed, maybe. She's using up with the, uh, the worms. So I'm not going to go out tomorrow. So they only use up. Yeah. 
Not a tiny one. Look at that, you can go on the other hook. I'll put your fucking teeth away. Excuse my French. See his teeth? Again. Well, fish, we know you're there. We know you're there. Alright, the whiting are coming in now, so it's just getting rattles there, but I had one whiting, I think it recorded. Let's have a fish is facing the right way, isn't it? <laughs> Hopefully it is. Um, yeah, the left hand board was tapping there, but. Stopped. There we go. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go again. Prove it, prove it, prove it. I'm not coming, Sid. I'd rather have a fly than a lion. There you go. Alright, I'm gonna There's not much fight, but anyway. We're in this thing. I don't like this thing. Oh, well, how was a rock crabbing? I didn't show that for obvious reasons. Oh, oh it's a small flatty. Another small flatty. But we are not blanking. Pick up a little. Typically, it gets interesting round about when I need to go home. I've got things to do. Small children to look after. Well, not small, the teenagers. Excuse me. Such a head cold. Hello, little man. <laughs> How far down is that hook? Oh, it might be quite far down. Oh no, guy. Oh no. Let's put it in the bucket for a minute. Right. Then we need them. Hello, lovely fish. I do like flies. Right. Hey, dude. Emergency surgery. Probably, I think I just heard the other rod rattle. Alright, one bit of worm out of the way. Alright, so the eye of the hook's there. So if I can get this through the gel plates very carefully. So.
Oops, wait. Let's do this side of the gills. If we can. I know, mate, I know. Nice and comfortable. I promise you, I'm just trying to help. Sounds like a contradiction after I've just started with a hook, but. Three. I did hear the other word go, and it stopped. So just be that. Not one. Top hook. The right one, probably. So it's my waiting, no doubt. I do need to get out of here shortly, so I'm trying to rub all through these worms. What have we got left? Another one there, damn it. Fine the hook, fine the hook, fine the hook. Pops yourself in the dark like a madman. Big ragworm, really, for that size of hook, but. I'm not even going to split it. Let's go put it on. Uh, that's it. Let's get this out and then have a look at this sweaty. And the big rod's gone quiet again. <laughs> 